Before this video starts, I would like to say that I have some new merch out that you can buy. The first one is 15 Robux and is a black and orange striped hoodie with the letters RGL on the front and my logo on the back. The second option is 10 Robux and is a white shirt with my logo on the left chest. If you would like to buy it, then the link will be in the description below. Now back to the video. So to build this money farm, you will need $69,372. If you start out with a new plot, you will have less money, and then just build it gradually until you complete it. With that being said, you will also need the Disable Collisions Game Pass, or this one. If you want me to do one without the Game Pass, then tell me in the comments. So when you start off your money farm, you're first going to place a path here, and then you can change the texture to grass, and change the color to the color of the grass, and remove path curves, then it looks like grass and then over here you are going to build down 16 meters do two of them then you're going to place um ramps all the way down until here they're going to skip a block and build another four place one path here and then change the color of this pathway up here to green and change the texture to grass then you are going to build four paths across here this way four back on each sides then you are going to place all of these stalls in the slots right here Then you are going to change the price of the stalls to all of them $7. And that will encourage guests to buy them more as they do not like to buy things that are higher priced like $13. And for the uh, refreshing fruit stall, change the price to $5 since it's already at 7 Now you're going to make your way down to the bottom floor and down here you are going to place a twister in the corner as far as back it can go to here then you are going to place the entrance over here the exit right here you're going to put a bathroom and you can choose any of these stalls I prefer dino hat since it's the cheapest or since it can't fit to just put any stall and then you're going to place pathways down here, fill that pathway that way. And then you're going to put the cheapest uh, legacy queue there. And then you're going to use the um, called this thing, build a junior coaster, just right here and do um not right here the one over let's do up and down then i'm going to change the train length to one put an entrance exit then you're going to add a queue to right here. And then for this gap in here, you can't really put anything there, so just put a just put stalls in here. Fill it up and then change the price to seven. And then for the bathrooms, you're going to change it to five. Now go back to the top level and then you're going to build pathways this way. And then you're going to build like an L shape right here and then extend it all the way over there. Same as this side, but keep going. 
and you are going to put since we already put the junior coaster down there, you're going to put the wild mouse up here. Place it facing the stalls, and then you're going to put a just like the wild mouse, um, just like the junior coaster entrance and exit. Exit on this side since there's going to be rides over there. And Q path legacy again, place it there. And then do the exact same for the steeplechase. Place the entrance and exit. Exit can go on either over here, it doesn't really matter. Then place the path right there. Now for over here, you can put the corkscrew coaster. Build two stations since the trains are long. Then just build up and down. Entrance, exit. That's that. Then now add the bird coaster. Same thing right here. Up and down. Train length to one. Entrance exit and legacy path. And now you're going to dig another hole in the floor, 16 meters down. Like two of them. Then you're going to come down here. You're going to extend the pathway all the way back. And then around the middle, just add a path going across it. And same for up here. Path all the way across. And a path going across it. And at the bottom, you're going to take the multi launch coaster. You're going to build two stations this Change the train length to one and just exit and then do that for the spinning coaster vertical launch flying coaster and mine train each going back and forth like this where they're each facing each other Then you're going to come back up to the top and now you're going to place the water rides and the vintage cars dark ride you can start with the vintage cars place it farthest away from the edge and build it as sharp as it can go on or going forwards and going backwards and connect the track exit And now do the same for the dark ride, swan boats, and river rapids. And then for the log flume, we're gonna do it in the next section over here.
and we should stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. I got everything I'm asking for, but you stop making a big deal out of the little things. Let's get carried away. Now you're going to come down here and you're actually going to delete that pathway, just move it one over and put the single rail coaster in here. Just like before, one up, one down, drain like the one, just exit, like that. And then in this part over here, you're going to get the nautic jet. going to put it right there entrance exit and then you're going to fill this entire space with the queue because for some reason I guess we like this attraction I don't know why and then you're going to go back up to the top level and over here you are going to put um, the hyper coaster Right here I'm going to build three stations and change the length to four and you can put an entrance right here Exit. And then for these sections right here, just like I said before, fill them with stalls. Basically, whatever you can fit in there. Change the prices to seven. Now you're going to dig one right here, extend all the way back. And same as well for the bottom. And then at the bottom, or at the top first, we're gonna put teacups. And then fill this area with path, except for this one right here. Just put the bathrooms here, change the price to five. And then you're going to go to the bottom and right here you are going to put the drop tower then you're going to just extend it a little bit to where it's still hidden by the ground be fine and just like above, entrance, exit, and then fill the space with that. Put a stalls there, put a pirate's hat, change the price to seven. Now you're going to dig all here, you're going to grab your path, your ramps, and then just build them down extend the pathway across across this way and then for this area I'm going to put the transport train and monorail you can start with the train first just build two Um, so you're gonna put two here and then two in the wall. Five. Okay, that works. And then you're gonna put the entrance right here. Is it right here? And then for this, just 
build it as that. And then just connect the tracks. And then do the same for the monorail. Pathway, Dino Hat, Popcorn, Fries, Seven, Seven, and then the other one to Seven. Then for the monorail, just sharp as it can go. Put the going forwards and then going backwards. Then connect it. and then you're going to place a trash can right here and then you don't have to but you can place trash cans around the park because it prevents guests from littering even though you can't see it but guests like it more and then you can also place benches across the edges and in between rides if there is room like I said, um, come to the bottom, the same thing, just place benches across, and then place trash cans, brush that is also. Then you're gonna come to the back corner, this trash can right there, and then place, see, see. There. Something about the way that you talk to me, even when you're not around, I feel you for me. I 
and you're going to come out to the top. Then you're going to just cover it up. Then go into settings, you're going to open your park, and then guests should come in, and they would go down there. Make sure that your entry cost is not overly expensive. And now guests should come in, and they will go down there. Anyways, I hope you enjoy your $6 million a day and get everything built. If you have any issues, tell me in the comment section below, and I'll most likely respond. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. So goodbye.